All right, just a warning, but this is going to be the most complicated thing you will ever learn for SEO, but it is also the most valuable and it is once you, something that once you understand it and get it, you're going to be ahead of the curve by a long shot. Most people will never set this stuff up because they don't understand how it works. In fact, I know some people that um, have huge clients and they still haven't set this up for them, but it's so valuable because if you don't set this up, again, it's the, it's the principle of, um, you know, let's say you walked into a gym and you wanted to lose weight, but you didn't have a scale to see how much you weighed first. So it's very important to actually understand in this sense, how many leads you're getting, how many phone calls you're getting, especially with local businesses, and how can we actually um, use that metric and understand how to improve that metric by looking at certain things like conversion rates and the amount of goals, uh, leads coming in through analytics. So let me show you how this works. So we're gonna use a website called Call Tracking Metrics. And um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, sign up and what I usually do, what I sign up for is the, um, the marketing account. Um, the reason why I sign up for the marketing account is because you can have multiple businesses in here, um, meaning that I can have multiple clients managed in this tool uh, versus just my own website or just one website. So the 39 per month really just gives you the ability to only track calls through one business, through one website. This, the 99, lets you track through multiple. Um, I know it's a little bit expensive, but again, this is something that's so important and uh, it's just one of the things that I really recommend that you buy. Um, you can even have your clients pay for an account if you want. Uh, they're going to be paying for their own tracking, but in order to set up the account, you have to pay monthly. So anyways, let's go into it. So we're going to go um, click sign up and we're going to choose whatever we want. Uh, if you want to just get started with one account, just one client, do this one. If you want to get started with multiple clients, do the other one. Um, I don't think this ever is really a concern for us, the 299. So once you sign up, you're going to get taken to a dashboard that looks like this. We're going to log in. Now this is a blank dashboard. Uh, this is for one of my web design sites. Um, we just set this up like yesterday, so there's no calls in here yet, but once you have some calls coming in, you will see a dashboard of different calls in here. And uh, if you're doing call recording, you can actually click on the calls and you can listen to the recordings. But um, what we wanna do is we wanna actually track phone calls to two different things, um, our website and our Google My Business. So how we're gonna do that, and by the way, let me just say, if you're also doing things like ads, you'd probably wanna track uh, calls coming in through your ads as well, but we won't talk about that right now. So we're gonna go um, start by clicking on the little hamburger menu up here at the top left, and we're gonna go click on the numbers and buy numbers. Now what you wanna do is you wanna click on this little area code here, and you wanna type in your area code. So in our town, it's 805, so we would click on this and press search. Now this will give us a bunch of different numbers for um, our area. So you can see these are all these different numbers. It doesn't really matter what you choose. Um, you would just click on a couple of these to add them to your cart and then you'd confirm purchase. Now you can see here that it's $1.50 per month for each phone call or for each phone number. Now the cool thing about this, again, remember how I said if you use the agency account, you can actually have different accounts in here. So if I wanted to add a new account, I could, and then I can actually enter in my client's billing information instead of my own. So um, let me actually show you how that works here. I think if I go to the um, all accounts leave, probably should have done this, this setup first. Uh, so let's say new account. And let's say I wanted to um, set up a, let's say I was doing Mr. Beast's website or something. If you didn't watch my recent video, I did an audit on, on this YouTuber's website. But let's say I wanted to track his phone calls. So we'd say Mr. Beast, um, Mr. Beast. And then you could say, if I click on use agency shared billing, this is going to um, take the billing info that I have and it's gonna pay through my account. But if I click add new billing information, um, you can see here, I can enter in the client's billing or I can just click on invite and then it'll invite, it'll send them an email for them to go um, actually go and uh, sign up. So they're paying through the account so I don't actually have to pay uh, for the phone numbers monthly as well as the, um, as the, uh, the, I think it's like 0 0.01 cents per minute or something for the phone calls. It's pretty cheap once you actually have the account. So anyways, let's go back to the phone numbers. 
um, in here we were buying the numbers. Once you buy the numbers, you'll have something called tracking numbers. And here you can see I have two tracking numbers for my web design business or website. I have the website phone number and I have the Google My Business phone number. And so the way this works is you have your tracking number here. And let me actually just buy a new number just so you can see what this looks like. So I'll just buy a new number. We'll just do 805. Here we go. Search. Buy a number. Confirm process. Okay. Now configure. So it's going to say, okay, here's the phone number that we purchased. Now the receiving phone number is whatever phone that I'm going to be forwarding this call to. So if I wanted to forward the call to, um, you know, my cell phone, I would type in my cell phone number. And then I would say the tracking source. Now this tracking source is whatever you want to track uh, the traffic from. So if I wanted to track the traffic from or the calls from Bing, if I wanted to track the calls from, uh, you know, Twitter and the way this works, it's, and this is the complicated part, just bear with me. When you set up one of these tracking sources, like let's say I choose Bing, uh, what's going to happen is this app will automatically recognize when a visitor from Bing goes to your website and then calls you. So it, I, and the reason why that's complicated, some of you might are, have already got that right away, but the reason why it's complicated is because you might be thinking, how does it know when somebody from Bing comes and calls versus when somebody from Yelp? They just have their own built-in system, I guess, that recognizes different traffic sources. So if somebody from Bing goes to your website, it knows that somebody from Bing went to your website. If somebody from Yelp goes to your website, this knows. Um, and what happens is there's actually a tracking code. There's a code that you put on your website that will, this app, when it identifies somebody coming from Yelp, it'll automatically replace the, your phone number with a phone number that, that matches that traffic source. <laughs> Sorry if that's confusing, but just bear with me. We're only doing two calls right now anyways. We're not going to actually track individual places from Yelp or from wherever. We're just going to say we want to track from website and from Google My Business. So website is the first one and then you would have a second number because you bought two numbers hopefully. And the second one would be from the other phone number. So um, what I mean by that is you would have 805-667-0458 and then you'd have another number under here and instead of it saying website, it would say uh, you would have it say Google My Business. Okay. So you might have to watch this a couple times in order to get it, or you might have already gotten it and you're saying, hey, Chase, this is super easy. Whatever works, doesn't really matter. Um, but what we're gonna do is the receiving number is the, f the 453, this is my cell phone number. And then the target number, this is the number that it's actually gonna replace on the website. So it's the receiving number is this, it's the number that's getting forwarded to, and the target number is the number that's getting replaced. So it's the same number, right? As long as you're, so basically you would be replacing um, let's say 805453 was on the website, this will actually go and replace that number anytime it appears on the website. Sorry, it's so hard to explain this in, in a simple way. Um, but anyways, you can see here right now, the number that was on the website was this number. Um, it was the 805-689-1256 number. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually, once we have these two sources uh, set up, we're gonna go to the hamburger menu again, and we're gonna go to tracking code. And what we wanna do is we wanna add this code into the headers of our website, into the, um, to the very top part of our website. So with Squarespace, um, the way you would do this is you would go to Squarespace, and it's pretty much the same for any website, whether you're on Squarespace, wherever you're at, um, you just have to figure out where the header is. Um, and then you would go to uh, in our case, we're going to go to settings, advanced, code injection, and then we would just inject this code into the header of the website. And then basically anytime a number, that 805689 number appears, this will automatically replace it with the tracking number based on the visitor where they're coming in from. So if they come in from Google My Business, it'll change the number to the number that's supposed to be for the Google My Business. If, it, um, if a visitor comes from um, Google, it'll go and replace it for that traffic source. But anyways, so 
if you're on WordPress, by the way, or any other website, WordPress has a plugin called, um, or you can get a plugin called OH Scripts WordPress plugin. You can go download that. And uh, this plugin here, I'll actually leave a link in the checklist as well. But this plugin allows you to automatically, um, yeah, there it is. This one automatic, it just gives you a little plugin section that lets you, uh, replace or add um, code into your header. So you can see here, this is what it looks like. It just gives you a little box and you would just paste this in and it says add script to be to be added to the header of every page. Okay, so um, that's the first part, right? So we got the tracking now on the website. So the phone number should be replaced. You can see with our, in our case, the web design site, Santa Barbara, um, so the phone number, this is the one for the Google My Business that we bought, but if we go to the website, click on it from Google, you can see the phone number is the other one. You can see at the bottom left, it's kind of small. It says um, 8560236, which is different than this one, which is um, 881. And again, the reason why we do this is because once we set this up, we're going to be able to track the calls coming in from these separate locations. Like for instance, with the purity clinic example, um, one of our clients that we have this set up for, we can see that they got 54 phone calls from people going to the website versus 32 people calling from the Google My Business. And the reason why this is important is because we wanna be able to track where the leads are coming from these different locations so we can figure out how we can improve the amount of leads that are coming in. For instance, if the Google My Business is already as optimized as possible, um, but the website is not, and we know that there's only like a 1% conversion rate on these pages. Um, you can see here, there's an 11%, but let's say it was like a 1%, then we know, okay, maybe we could um, get an extra 9% in their phone calls on their website. We could pretty much guarantee them those leads. And so it's very easy to sell services when we know exactly what metric we need to hit. So anyways, now the last thing we need to do is we need to actually set up the tracking. So the way you do this is um, you're going to go into the hamburger menu on call tracking metrics. You're going to go to the settings. You're going to go to integrations and you're going to hook, you're going to go into analytics and you're going to hook up analytics with the, with the account that you're going to be tracking this through. So you can see here, I'm tracking this with the Web Design Santa Barbara account. And I'll actually just unlink this for you so I can link it up and show you. So we're going to click on connect to Google. Sign into our account. And then we're instead of it being one of our other websites, we're going to look for the Web Design website. There it is, use profile. And now what's gonna happen is anytime somebody calls, it's gonna send an event over to Google Analytics. And uh, I'll actually show you what this looks like on, um, on our current client that already has these events. But if we go to behavior over uh, and then events overview, these are all the calls that are coming through. So you can see it says 90 inbound calls. And if we click on action, we can see 58 of those inbound calls were website calls, 32 were from their Google My Business. So now we need to actually set up the tracking for these two different events. So we do that by clicking on admin, goals, and then we need to create two new goals. One that's called a uh, website call. I actually messed up the name here. It doesn't really matter what the name is, but, and then instead of it being a destination, like the online tracking we do as an event, and then basically this is the two events. So you got inbound call and the action is website. And then the other one is um, Google My Business event, inbound call, Google My Business. So basically what that means is the event is the an inbound call and the action is whatever is categorized, whatever the event's categorized as. Now if you do this, what's gonna happen is in a few days once you start getting all these conversions coming in, you're gonna see um, in your goals, all these different things here, um, you know, all of your different goals. But more importantly, if you go to behavior, site content, and landing pages, you're going to be able to see what the, um, the actual conversion rates are. Let me go like that. So if I go and say, okay, website call, 
I can see which pages are bringing in calls and what the conversion rates are for those pages. So for instance, this page, FMT, has a 2.8% conversion rate with 15 phone calls for that service. So all I have to do to raise that is to get, instead of getting more traffic and trying to rank for more stuff, all I have to do is try to get this to a 6% conversion rate or higher by changing the landing page or the call to action, and I can double their leads pretty much overnight, which for them, that could be worth you know them paying me $3,000. And so sometimes, literally just by setting this stuff up, you can change one button on a website and make two to $3,000 in a couple seconds. So that's why this is so important. And because now that you have this stuff uh, set up and tracking, you're no longer selling SEO rankings, you're selling call tracking, or sorry, leads to the actual businesses. And at that point, they don't care if you're doing ads, they don't care if you're doing Google My Business, they don't care if you're doing YouTube for them. All they wanna do is keep increasing these leads and by doing this, it makes it very easy. So again, this is the most complicated thing you're going to learn with SEO, hands down 100%. 90, I would say even close to 98% of people do not set this up. And if you set this up and you understand this, you will be a thousand percent ahead of the curve. I also wanna mention that if you email support at chasereiner.com, we'd be happy to set this up for you or even walk you through this. Um, I have people that are helping me implement these things um, for my own clients so I don't have to go and do it every time because it's really manual. So if you want us to set this up for you, give us an email support at chasereiner.com and we'll help you out um, because again, if you can set this up, this is the first thing I sell to any client. I, I always say to them when I get on the phone with them, I go, hey, uh, in order for me to help you, I need to set up your analytics and your tracking first because I don't want to sell you something where I can't understand how it's actually helping you. And so again, it's the, it's the weight loss example. If somebody came in and I was a personal trainer and they said, I wanna lose weight, but I didn't have a scale. Well, too bad, I need to get a scale first so I can figure out what their benchmark is. What is their current weight? So then I know, where are we? what are we shooting for? Does it make sense? All right, guys, uh, we'll see you on the next one.